Perco RTD16 Full Height Rotor Turnstile Assembly Instruction. Prepare required tools prior to assembly of the turnstile. Observe the information from service documentation during the installation process. Follow the safety regulations. All mounting work must be carried out by experienced personnel. The mounting surface must be pre-arranged. Holes must be drilled in accordance with the mounting scheme. Anchor sleeves must be put in. All cable ducts must be routed. Use a template from the box number 5. Apart from holes for the turnstile installation, it is also necessary to mark out the holes for installation of canopy, railing systems and swing gates that will be installed with the turnstile. In this film, we use a special podium as a mounting surface. Route connection cables to the installation site, power and lighting cables, fire alarm emergency unlocking device cable, RC cable or cable of the external ACS controller, other cables of additional equipment. The delivery set consists of five boxes. Unpack boxes number three and number four. They contain left and right guide barrier sections and supporting girder. Take the package with installation tools out of the box number 5. Mount the guide barrier section while placing it so the indication block is positioned outside. Pay attention to the mounting spot of supporting girder. Fix the section on the mounting surface with anchor bolts. Pre-tension bolts so you could shift the position. Mount second guide barrier section in the same way. Place the supporting girder so that the square hole in the middle is facing up. Lay down indication cables one after another from guide barrier section to supporting girder and route them through the central hole. Fasten the supporting girder on the guide barrier sections with four M 8x16 screws. Use SW6 Allen key. Apply waterproof silicon sealant at the place of connections. Unpack barrier section from the box number 5. Take elements of the bottom rotation unit out of the barrier section supporting flange, flooring insert and slip washer. Route cables through the bottom hole of the barrier up to the top hole. Cable leftovers at the place of the top hole must be from 80 centimeters to 1 meter. Mount barrier section on the holes with anchor bolts. Use four M10 anchor bolts to fix the flange of barrier section. Do not fix tightly so that you can make the adjustment. Insert the supporting flange of the rotation unit in the place of installation of the bottom rotation unit. Fix the flange and the barrier section with barrier arms with M16 anchor bolts. Open the box number one with the top channel. Take off the cover from the top channel. Take the package with installation tools out of the top channel. Place the part of the top channel where the walkway downlights so they are located to the guide barrier sections. 
Using two step ladders, lift the top channel and lean it above the turnstile so that two stud bolts installed in the guide barrier sections get into the corresponding holes of the channel. Do not damage the connecting cables. Lift the top channel from the side of the post with barrier arms and lay the cable ends through the corresponding holes of the top channel. For more convenient access, it is recommended to remove the protective insert, unscrewing four screws M4 by 16 with a key SW3. Fix the top channel to the guide barrier sections with two bolts M10 with washers using the socket wrench S17. Do not tighten the stud bolts for later adjustment. Fix the top channel to the supporting girder with two bolts M8 by 25 and the key SW6 using two plates from the delivery set. Fix the top channel to the post with barrier arms with two bolts M10 by 30. Use the key SW8. Place back the protective insert. Unpack rotor sections from the box number two. Assemble the bottom bearing rotation unit in the barrier section. Put the slip washer in the supporting flange so the smooth side is facing up and then put fluoroplastic insertion. The slipping surfaces should be treated with molybdenum grease. Install the rotor section and its mounting parts in the bottom rotation unit so cylindrical shank is face down. Bring it into the unit at a slight angle to the surface. Turn the section into the vertical position and join together the upper rotor shaft with the shaft of the drive unit. Adjust the rotor section in accordance to the selected passage mode, given the match of the edges of the upper rotor shaft and the edges of drive shaft. For standard passage mode, for lock chamber passage mode. Join together the upper rotor shaft with the shaft of the drive unit with two half couplings, four bolts, M8 by 30, and spring washers. Use SW6 key. Be careful, half couplings are heavy prevent their fall off to avoid injuries. While fixing bolts, ensure that the gaps between half couplings are even. Take another rotor section. The top side of the rotor section has two plastic plugs on the inside. Fix the second rotor section to the mounting elements of the installed section with four bolts M8 by 14 for upper mounting points and 20 bolts M8 by 12 for the rest of the mounting points with spring washers. Use SW6 key. Do not fix the bolts tightly. It is recommended to use the tool that adheres to the bolt being tightened. For instance, use the tool with a magnet tip or to use suitable flexible materials. Mount the third rotor section in the same way. Check the verticality of the rotor position with level. Eliminate the deviations if necessary by means of shifting the top channel where it is possible while not obscuring the installation holes for bolts and stud bolts. Make the final tightening of bolts and nuts of all elements of the turnstile. Again, check the verticality of the rotor position with level. Unlock the mechanical locking system of the turnstile with the keys and check the rotation of the rotor. The rotation is supposed to be uniform and requires similar force to be applied to it during the push for each direction. There should be no binding or squeaking. Use dynamometer to verify the extent of free rotation of the wing panel in the middle of the fifth barrier. The force shouldn't exceed three kilos. In case of discrepancy, it is necessary to examine the adjustment, assembly of the turnstile and rotor, as well as the lower rotation unit. Use the plastic plugs to cover the bolt holes in the joints connecting the rotor section and supporting girder with the section of guide barriers set. 
If you are laying out the power and control cables from above, then extract the necessary amount of plugs and insert the cable bushings in the vacant holes and pull the cable through the bushings into the top channel. Perform the link up to the contacts of the DIN rail and carefully stow the cables in accordance with the scheme from the manual. Use plastic cable ties that are included in the delivery set. Place the cover upon the top channel. Stickers with arrows at the top channel's end face and the end face of the cover must coincide. Screw four captive M5 screws that are fixing the cover of the top channel. Use SW4 key. Switch the mechanical unlock system of the turnstile off. Switch the turnstile on. Perform the verification of the turnstile's operability by using the remote control. Check light and sound indication. The turnstile is installed and ready for operation.